This video will show you how to find health-related articles using the library databases listed on the Library Resource Guide for HSC 110. Searching for articles really starts with analyzing your assignment. Here is an example. Suppose that you have to find a recent article about treatment options for someone with multiple sclerosis. Depending on the topic you choose, you will be able to find very recent articles using a library database. Now you need to decide what search words to type into the database. In this example, the most important words are treatment and multiple sclerosis. It is also important to think about other words or phrases that you can use to find information on your topic. Look at the word treatment. You may also want to try searching with drugs, drug therapy, or clinical trials. Multiple sclerosis is also referred to as MS. The terms you have identified will become a word bank that you can use to create search phrases. Use the word AND to connect your terms and place quotation marks around phrases to ensure that the database will only find instances where those two words are side by side. The topic presented in this video is only one example. The topic you choose may be completely different, but you will use the same steps outlined in this video to find an article on your topic. Keep in mind that you can always contact PCC Library if you need help locating an appropriate article. Now we are ready to use a library database to search for articles. Your instructor should have a link to the library resource page in your HSC Moodle course. If not, you can go directly to the library resource page for this class by typing this URL into your browser's address bar. libguides.pitcc.edu forward slash HSC the guide is titled Health Sciences Careers at PCC. Once there, click on the Articles tab. The Articles page lists library databases that include health articles. Notice the pictures or icons beside each database. The icons are used to indicate which resources will require a MyPitCC login for off-campus access. For this example, let's use ProQuest Nursing and Allied Health Source. When you first open this database, you will see the basic search screen. Just type your search phrase in the box provided. I am going to use terms from my word bank and then join the terms with the word AND. I am also going to put quotation marks around the terms that I want searched as a complete phrase. Notice that the box beside full text is already checked. Checking full text will ensure that all of the results listed will include the entire article. Click the search button. This search found over 24,000 results. Let's use the features on the right side of the screen to make this list a little more manageable. Since we know we have to find a recent article, Let's use the publication date feature to find articles that were published between 2013 and 2016. To do that, click the link that says enter a date range, type the years in the boxes provided, and click the update button. For this assignment, you will need to find an article from a trade journal or magazine. Once again, we can go to the right side of the screen for more choices. I'm going to click the link that says Trade Journals so that all of the results listed are articles from that type of publication. We now have a list of very recent articles from health-related trade journals located in the center of the screen. You can hover over the preview link beside each article to view the abstract, which is a brief summary of the article. Viewing the abstract lets you quickly determine whether or not you might want to read the entire article. It is not appropriate for you to copy or plagiarize the abstract. The summary paragraph you write for this assignment should be based on your examination of the entire article, not just the abstract. To read or print the article, click on the full text link. 
The database provides tools that will allow you to cite, print, or email the article. Let's take a look at the Cite tool since you will need to include information about the article when you complete your assignment. I'm going to use the MLA 7th edition. However, you will need to confirm which format your teacher prefers for this assignment. The Cite tool will give you the formatted citation that you can then copy and paste into your document. It is important to remember that computer-generated citations can have errors, so make sure you read over your citation carefully, taking into account any specific instructions from your teacher. If you have any questions or need assistance searching the databases, a librarian will be happy to help you.